10 amazing ancient civilization finds. Number 10. Remain surface as glaciers melt. In the summer of 2014, inside of frozen lands of Norway, archaeologists found 400 Stone Age artifacts after a glacier began to melt. Lars Pillow, the archaeologist who led the Norwegian team, has stated that the Earth should be approaching a new ice age, but instead people are recovering artifacts from melting glaciers at an alarming rate. Mittens, shoes, weapons, walking sticks, skeletal remains, a 1,700-year-old tunic, and many other amazing finds were unearthed from the ice, lost in the high mountains of Norway. Some other finds included a horse skull from the Viking Age and an arrow shaft from the Stone Age. Number 9. Mysterious Object Found in Norway In February of 2015, a mysterious object was found in a 6,000-year-old Stone Age settlement at Sommervegen near Stavanger Airport in Norway. Underneath a bed of flat rocks, a wooden tool which resembles a strange-looking chicken bone about 20 centimeters long was found in what is believed to be a 4,000-year-old grave. Other artifacts have been excavated from the site, including three stone axes, a chisel, an arm, and some teeth. But the wooden tool remains a troublesome mystery. The oldest artifacts date back to the Neolithic period, which is 4000 to 2600 BC, deepening the question as to the tool's purpose. Some scientists have begun to speculate that the site isn't actually a grave site, but more of a garbage dump. Number 8. The Badger and Stonehenge in February of 2016, a badger unearthed a Bronze Age cremation site which led to the discovery of rare artifacts including 4,000-year-old human remains near Stonehenge located inside Wiltshire, England. Some of the more prominent artifacts were a metal saw, a flint knife, a copper chisel, pottery, and an archer stone wrist guard, all dated between 2200 BC and 2000 BC. Some of the tools including this strange knife were found in extremely good condition despite being over 4,000 years old. The site was first noticed when the tunneling badger left fragments of pottery from an urn, a clay-made jar which carries the cremated remains of the potential archer, near Netheravon, Wiltshire. Number 7. I Want Your Skulls 20 black and Roman skulls were found in October of 2013, just outside a Crossrail train tunnel located in central London. The site is believed to have been a 17th century bedlam burial ground, making the Roman skulls a unique discovery and shocking surprise. The Roman skulls were found in clumps, and are now thought to have been caught in the bends along the banks of the long-vanished river, once known as Walbrook. The skulls were found by construction workers who were digging a pit beside Liverpool Street Station to relocate utility cables. Some have speculated that the skulls belonged to executed criminals and were left exposed as a gruesome warning. Number 6. Mummy in a Box In March of 2011, road workers in the city of Taizhou in Jiangsu province located in eastern China were widening the road. While digging, they came across a buried tomb. Buried beneath a little over 6 feet of earth was a 700-year-old mummy. The well-preserved corpse is believed to be a high-ranking woman from the Ming Dynasty, the ruling power in China between 1368 and 1644. Archaeologists excavated the site and found two additional coffins containing mummies. Number 5. Cave of Bones In March of 2014, archaeologists found 13 small bones and bone fragments inside a cave in the Nochneria mountain not far from the town of Sligo located inside Ireland. The bones belong to a 5,500-year-old adult aged 30 to 39 and 5,200-year-old child aged 4 to 6. The discovery provided new evidence of Nochneria Neolithic links and the prehistoric practice known as excoriation. IT Sligo archaeology graduate Thorsten Collert discovered the bones by chance while he was surveying several unknown caves along the slopes of the mountain. Number 4. A Skeleton and His Shield In 1990, 11 skeletons were discovered and excavated from a car park of the Three Kings public house in Cambridgeshire, England. It is now believed that the bodies belong to early Saxon inhumations. A man speculated to have been in his 50s with a shield, spear, and knife were found next to a jewelry-clad woman, thought to be in her late teens and were some of more well-preserved of the bodies which were unearthed. Grave goods, weaponry, and everyday items from the 6th century also surfaced during the excavation. Number 3. The Voynich Manuscript Discovered in 1912 by a Polish book dealer named Wilfred Voynich, the Voynich Manuscript is an illustrated codex handwritten in an unknown writing system. 
The vellum on which it is written has been carbon dated and indicates that the book dates back to early 15th century. Some of the pages are missing, with approximately 240 still remaining. Some of the text is written in patterns similar to those found in more common natural languages. Star charts and vibrant diagrams, as well as full colored pictures, can also be found between the pages of the manuscript, but to date, no one has succeeded in deciphering the ancient mystery. Number two, the main penny. In August of 1957, Guy Melgren, a local resident and amateur archaeologist, found this unusual coin at the Goddard site located in Brooklyn, Maine. The main penny, also referred to as the Goddard coin, consists of Norwegian silver and dates back to the reign of Olaf Kyr, the king of Norway from 1067 to 1093 AD. Found alongside Native American ruins, this ancient piece of monetary treasure offers an intriguing piece of evidence that Vikings did travel much further south than Newfoundland, long predating Christopher Columbus. To date, a collection of 30,000 items have been excavated from the main located Goddard site, though the Viking coin remains the only find of Norwegian origin. The coin was donated to the Maine State Museum in 1974, but remains a topic of discussion and debate on ancient cultures and their impact on the early stages of the United States of America. Number 1. The Divja Babe Flute In 1995, discovered in a cave in Slovenia, located inside the Netherlands, the Divja Babe Flute is believed to be the oldest musical instrument to have ever been unearthed. The artifact is a fragment of the femur, which belonged to a cave bear perfectly pierced, with holes spaced only several small centimeters apart. The piece of animal bone has been dated between 60,000 and 43,000 years old, which links to the musical instrument back to ancient Slovenia. Evolutionary scientists believe that a musical culture would have helped prehistoric human beings to survive because music constitutes as a form of communication and motivation. 